man and woman. Just to make things straight, we are not going to see out of this issue. We just not. Our goals in life are different. The way we act, men, and the way you act, women, aren't meant to get us at the same point in our lives. Our goals are different. The number one thing women do wrong in relationships or basically just getting to know a new guy is that women started taking too much advice about men from other women. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Another thing that happen, happens in today's society is that women get influenced by magazines so, so, so much that every single time a new magazine comes up with new styles, new clothes or whatsoever it may be every woman feels uglier and fatter and dumber so on and so forth and you just forget how fucking beautiful you are girls cannot go backwards in lifestyle let me explain no more waiting at the club waiting for a lift or waiting for the bus or even the fucking metro no more let's be honest if you end up breaking up with this guy Having a car will become a requirement for the future boyfriend or boyfriends you might have. That's how it is. And that applies to any other thing you've liked in that guy. That the next guy might not have. The day you feel totally safe in a guy's arms, you will end up thinking about it for the rest of your life. Regardless if you find the prince charming of your little ch childhood books and shit. Alright, alright. Enough of women. Let's talk about you guys. Men. We cannot go back sex-wise. Once we taste something we like, it's on the menu. Hmm, Tuesdays. That nasty shit in the park. There's no such thing as we just try it one time. Uh-uh. Something I feel like I have to put straight out there for all the guys like me. Women started blaming, judging, and assuming how we act according to every other guy they've had or met before. Our society has become a very naive society. Not all of it, but mainly the women. Let me explain. Women have realized that men often play games. That men use swag, cars, two years of minimum salary savings to be able to ball for a month so they can get some. So men have adapted to their environment. They've noticed and understood, because they might seem dumb, but they're not. Fine, most of them are. Girls started looking for guys that have the ability to use words in such ways that they can almost get them to get an orgasm simply by listening to them talking and blow minding them. That's why nice guys finish last. Nice guys are the ones that... What the fuck? Bad. Guys are the ones that don't get any attention from women until a certain point of their lives. But once they do, they settle down and have a happy living. Players and douchebags have observed these nice guys because they've noticed that once they actually settle down, they manage to keep and be loved back by a loyal, beautiful girl. And that got them frustrated. Now I know how you feel. Well, actually I don't, but still. One thing that's completely destroyed in our society is the meaning of I love you. You can say I love you to your girl, she's gonna be like, you're a liar. Cause she hears it all over the place. People say it just to get some pussy, but they don't actually mean it. They just know that it had a meaning at one point, so... Hey, why not? Let me say it again. Maybe it'll work on this bitch. So now, when a nice guy speaks to a girl, the girl completely blows him off. Why? Because she thinks he's just another one of those douchebags and players that is playing the nice talker game on her. Nice guys just got sick and tired of getting blown off after they're being themselves, so they just decided not to put themselves out there anymore. They just stay home. Man, is it just me or sometimes you're just chilling with your friends, having a good day, having a blast, matter of fact. And your phone rings or whatever. It's a text from your girl. Hey baby, what's up? Nothing much, having fun with my friends. You. Then you get a reply. It's like, okay, have fun, good night. Bitch, why you text me for? Why did you even do that? You just spelled attention-seeking whore wrong. Oh my gosh, if he runs after me, Means he's interested. Doesn't work that way. Oh, see, see, see? I just got a text that says my baby. My baby. All right, all right. Look, it says my baby. Yes, she honey. She would love you. She would never give you no. a dick anymore. Uh, she would never give you pussy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were a virgin. You <laughs> asshole, isn't it? <laughs> I remember That's that. where you defer. And for my girl, sorry that I had to use you, but... 
you just texted me, so we kind of have to use you now. I love you. I love you. I miss you. I really want to kiss you. Oh boy, I do too. She's gonna hate me for this. Jesus God, mother of lord of goatness, motherfucking shit. So to just wrap up this video, women, there's one thing you have to understand with man. Once a guy trusts you with everything, don't fuck up. Because you see, we trust you, you know, and we really do. But then when you fuck up, this is what happens. You give us a bit of time to, you know, release our pain and, you know, just realize that, you know, maybe you just fucked up, you know. It happens. After all, you're human. We're gonna trust you back. But it just won't be as nice as it was before. It's still there. It's not the same. Peace. <laughs> comment, share the video, and all of our videos, matter of fact, go production, you know what it is. Bad.